Welcome back, episode 3 of Meet the Mobs. Last time, we went into the mushroom and the chicken. And this time, we're going to continue, probably to the creeper over there. We also got a chicken back into our base, turning to a real barn. Ooh, nice, some iron blocks already. And I saw that I left a couple of iron blocks back in the other chickens, so I'm going to pick those up as well. Probably going to need a lot of iron in this game. Even if I do build iron armor eventually, I'm probably going to lose it all horribly in death. So let's just go pick up this iron right here and stash it away immediately. Alright, slowly make our way down. Ooh, did I run out of torches? I guess I ran out of torches. Gotta replace those. I know I saw villagers over in the giant village a little while back. Did this chicken get out? Oh no, wow. That chicken... Walked all the way back here. Guess he really missed his friend. That's good. So we can breed them if we want to. But I think I'm going to use these uh, These for seeds. Let's put away these. Eggs? I guess I'll throw the eggs on the ground. That was, that was not really the ground. But you guys know what I meant. Alright, let's put away this iron, quartz, pillars. Let's actually stash some wood just in case too. I don't think I need to be carrying around all this wood. We can use a couple of these to do some bridging. Alright, there's some food. I've decided to name my mushrooms. This one's going to be named Porky. Porky the Mushroom. Too big to fit through a door. And that one's Daredevil the Mushroom. Just because he likes to go tightrope walking. I don't really have a name for the rest of these yet, but hopefully I can get some name tags to, to brand them up so I recognize them. Because honestly, if I let Daredevil out of his cage, I'm just going to like not recognize them immediately. So, let's see if we can make our way over to the creeper. After we put our stuff away. I definitely don't have nearly enough stuff. But, I also wanted to torch them things up, and I carelessly forgot to make torches again. Oh gosh, I hate when it does that. Or I hate when I do that, rather. So yeah, gotta stay focused, I gotta make some torches. Make some torches and get some more bridging materials. See, what can we bridge with? We can bridge with these stone slabs. We can bridge with chiseled quartz. Let's make some more, excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Cow. We can make some birch slabs. Actually, I think since birch seems pretty, pretty common because of the mushroom, I can make a bunch of birch, and we can turn these into sticks as well. Oops, there we go. And torches all ready to go. And let's finally go. I really don't want things spawning on these chickens. They're just like so close to my base. There we go. Last thing I want to do is like find an, find an enemy um, on these bridges. That'd be awful. Let's see what we can do going over to the creeper. <laughs> it's probably filled with a ton of TNT. But I'm actually going to go up to the head see if there's get any water. It looks like it's having a little bit of a, of a panic sweat there. Running away from that ocelot. Maybe there'll be some water up there in its head too. Alright, let's take a look inside. Oh, I should have. That was dangerous. I probably should have made the guardrails first. Alright, there's sand. And mossy stone, more sand. <laughs> Is this entire thing like filled with sand then? Alright. Oh, oh my gosh, there's TNT. I really need a shovel to do this. Oh, there's TNT everywhere. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. My pyromaniac side is, is kicking in. Creep Ernest McPie. <laughs> Creep Ernest McPie says. Oh. oh, he's like running away from that cat over there. The cat with the little dispenser nose. It looks like these chickens are not having such a good day either. Are they all named? I didn't, I didn't catch their names. Hmm. That's okay. Let's actually just put some stuff away and get probably make a shovel so we can make our way up that creeper. Sand, lime wool, quartz, etc. And let's see. 
what we need is a shovel. So we're going to make sticks out there. Get some cobblestone. Maybe I should start making. What is, what is this guy's obsession with standing on my crafting table? I don't understand. I never understand the mobs in these games. They have like strange obsessions with various different types of blocks. Like I know that I've definitely have sheep stand on top of uh, all my chests before. It's like really annoying because you need to open them and all that. Oops. So anyway, of course I just make a shovel and just not use it. Classic. Alright, anyway, we'll make our way up to the creeper head. I'm not really sure what to expect up here. Oh my gosh, open, open, open. Any oh, that's a, that's a skeleton. Oh. That is not a sword. That's not a sword. Whew. Okay, okay, anything else? No, just some string. The string's really useful for a bow. <clears throat> I'll definitely need some of this. And... <laughs> what? Oh, it's oh, it's because his name is Creep Ernest McPie. So he has a bunch of pie in his head. What is the sponge? Z equals negative 177. I guess those are coordinates or something. Where am I at right now? I am very far away from that. So I guess we'll have to check out whatever that's alluding to later. The story of my life. Oh, is, is this is this the story of Creeper and a McPie? Oh, there are emeralds here. I'm going to collect these first, actually. Actually, first I'm going to light everything up. There we go. Let's get these emeralds. Oh, can I not? Do I need an iron for that? Oh, gosh. What I meant to say is I'm going to collect this coal. I'll come back when I... Uh, Get an iron pickaxe. Alright, let's... Let's actually take this chest. I kind of want this chest. We gotta make an iron... Iron pickaxe and come back here. So once we're at home, let's read the story of Creeper and the Alright, let's go down. And run back. Looks like Dawn's coming soon. That's pretty good. Pretty good for us. Alright, let's put away the TNT, pumpkin pie. I think if our mushrooms somehow die, then at least I'll have some pie. <laughs> oh, I'm a poet, didn't even know it. Alright, let's uh let's put down this other chest. Gosh, these 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 cows. These cows. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Guys, guys, I guess they must be kind of bored. I'll coop it up in here. All right, let's finally read the story of Creeper and a Smoke Guy. The story of my life. <clears throat> I've got to get my reading voice on. The story of my life by Creep Ernest McPie, AKA Creep R Pie. <laughs> Today I was born. Today I found out about cats. I love cats. <laughs> What is this? This is the kitty cat song. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Cats, there's 11 pages of this? Cats, no, cats, no. I can't pet you. <laughs> Today I found my auntie. She doesn't like cats either. But I thought you loved cats, Creeper Ernest McPie. Today I found a stranger. His name was Steve. I don't know how to say that name. Steve? <laughs> how can you not know how to pronounce Steve? I can't give hugs. You have no arms. Oh, he has no arms. He's too nervous around Steve. I think I'm gonna explode. Oh, he's like hardcore crushing on Steve right now. The end. That's cute. I'm probably not gonna. Probably not gonna have much of a much of a use for that book though. All right. Oh, and I totally got distracted by that story. What I meant to do is I I gotta I gotta uh, make an iron block. Now, as, as I was editing the last video, I, uh, I noticed I slammed a lot of doors, and they were, like, really obnoxiously loud. So that's why, hopefully, I, uh, successfully turned the game sound on a bit. Down. Did I say down? Down. That's right. So anyway, let's pick up some of these emeralds, and I guess with that, then, let's go to the village, see if there are so many good trades. Hopefully, they're not all dead. 
That seems to be how the trends of the villages go. You like see a village and you get there and they're all dead. Alright, and there's one right here. Let's pick that one up. And another. Emerald blocks. That's a lot of emeralds. I think I should be able to get something good from that. Oh, and here's one hiding behind the cobweb. Oh, that's, that's this, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> let's try to get into a better position to pick this up. Nope. Let's use this wool. I'm gonna... Oh, look, the pan... There's a bunch of lapis there in case, uh, in case I need to use lapis for anything. I don't think I'm playing on the 1.8, so I don't think I actually need lapis unless I want to dye something. Let's actually pick these up as well. Whoa! Hello! I was totally too busy getting these emeralds. I forgot I, I didn't see it, that I got some spruce saplings. Now that's that's useful. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to like um, get enough wood in this playthrough, but it seems like now that I have saplings, I am pretty set on wood as well. I guess I have to find a place to plant these. I'm not sure if I have any dirt. Let's go back and look and see if I have any dirt. So let's, um, strings get the bow, of course, um, of course Porky the Mushroom is standing on top of that. Can I plant, can I, can I plant, I can plant these on here. <laughs> I'm just gonna grow trees inside my house, why not? That sounds like a great idea. Anyway, let's throw this on the floor. And let's Actually, I'm going to I'm going to carry all my bridging materials on me. I always say I'm going to use these, but I never do. I never use any of these. My inventory is a mess. I am like the absolute worst player when it comes to inventory management. I just have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So, let's take these quartz blocks. The gravel, I cannot bridge with gravel. And actually, let's take some more birch planks just in case and let's find the best way to get to the villager hopefully we can get there before everyone dies maybe I'll try to get there from yeah from here oh no it seems like it seems like the mushroom would be the best place to go from all right let's run over there and get those Ooh, more coal sorry cow I'm gonna take your other nostril you know I said that I felt bad for destroying the mobs in um in the last video, but I think uh, in that span of time I've become a terrible person and I have no remorse anymore. <laughs> I'm just like poking all their eyes out and I don't even feel anything anymore. I'm not sure what's happening to me. I think this game is uh, teaching me bad things. So anyway, let's uh, let's get down here and and we'll leave those there for now. And yeah, seems like it could be a pretty straight shot. And I did say that we'd go into the snowman to find out if there were any waters in the snowmans. Alright, slowly bridge across there. Skeletons. Nice. Oh, nice. There's still villagers alive. I should have brought the emeralds. But of course I didn't bring the emeralds. Why would I think ahead? That's very uncharacteristic of me. So let's continue on our way run out of bridging materials in our textile bridge. I'm really not one to like be too concerned with having nice fancy bridges, especially like in a, a map. Struggling to survive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this? They're slamming more doors than I did last episode. Hello. I come in peace. This guy's just like, get out of here. <laughs> Look at him looking behind that door. <laughs> oh gosh, these guys, this is not very welcoming. Oh, this is a nice little, nice little place. Oh my gosh, music. I will definitely be playing this. Chirp, chirp. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. 
I'm not thinking straight. Let's see if they actually have any good traits. And it looks like they're all mostly pretty alive. Oh my gosh, he has eyes. <laughs> this game and poking out eyes, I, s I tell you. Oh my gosh. The villager says it's not such a nice day right now. You know, any day I get eaten by a zombie, it doesn't seem like a very good day. Alright, let's actually take this out. And with that, actually we'll probably get to the trading with the villagers next time. So today, we went into the creeper, we um, came over here to the villager, and we got a bunch of emeralds, and we read the story of Creeper and Missing Kai. So anyways, as always, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.